Okay, so I'm going to do the talk about uh, market makers. And uh, the question was asked, um, will any mark, okay, so will any market maker really try to take you out if they see your stop loss order sitting there? And who are the market makers? Are they retail traders who trade big volumes or institutional traders? Question mark. So let's uh, talk about it from the the bottom and start working towards the top. The market makers are employed by uh, member firms and uh, they do have an obligation uh, and the whole idea of the market maker is to try and smooth out the volatility in the market and when you have big crashes and such uh, market makers are expected to step in and provide bids even though they're going to get filled on them uh, to try and make sure that there's an orderly market. Um, since uh, since we've had some big crashes, the the, uh, the exchange has instituted uh, circuit breakers so that if a market is if the big markets the indices are down more than seven percent, thirteen percent, and twenty percent, uh, markets get halted. But also even uh, stocks that move more than ten percent uh, within a certain time period, <clears throat> you know, spiking stocks that are spiking or, or falling out of bed. They get, um, they also get halted, suspended, well, halted for, you know, five minute, 10 minute break or circuit breakers, they call them. Anyways, uh, the market makers, so the market makers are employed by the member firms and, um, they, they called specialists, lots is another name for them. And they normally have, uh, three or four stocks that they would handle, maybe maybe as much as 10 stocks, depending on what, uh, you know, how big a size the brokerage firm is. And the market makers, um, therefore, their idea is for them is to, you know, put in, make sure there's bids and asks and, and fairly reasonable spreads, and that kind of thing in the market. Now, each member firm has, uh, has, uh, several market makers so one one stock may have several market makers it could have you know five or six or ten market makers designated market makers on each on each stock depending on the liquidity the size of it and all those kind of things so that's what that's what their job is uh, and they don't normally hold their paper overnight they're just they're in and out just day, basically day traders unless they unless their firm wants them to take a position on the stock and hold it overnight. Uh, market makers generally are flat by the end of the day. That's just the way they work. Um, the thing about, uh, so the market makers, so do they, they see everything on their, they see their book. They see what their firm is doing. They can look and see if uh, their stop loss is in place and such. But they can't see all the stop losses that are in place uh, with other firms. Those are that's private information that each only each firm has. But if a if a market maker is making the market in a stock, especially maybe a, a lower priced one or a thinner trader, not one of the big names, you know, lower vol uh, not lower volume but a lower float. Uh, and if they are getting a big order, they, cause they, they see the order flow. They, they're the ones that are going to be making the market, uh, on a lot of this stuff. It's not all electronic trading. They have to go through houses. Um, and the institution, institutional buyers, you know, will put the orders with the, with the market makers and such. If they see big orders coming in and they need inventory, they want to get some inventory. Quite often what they'll do, not quite often. What they will do sometimes is they'll they'll whack a bid at, a, at an important uh, level, a s important uh, support level, because they know that there's a there'll be a ton of stop losses. They may not be able to see the stop losses, but they'll know that there's a ton of stop losses um, just right at that because that's how the markets work. That's how traders work, and they'll they'll knock that out and they'll drive it down ten or fifteen cents. And of course, everybody panics and they come and everybody, uh, you know, all the stop losses get executed and the, the market makers then sit down below and they collect everything they can, as much inventory as they can, and then they run it right straight back up. So sometimes you'll see that where a stock spikes down sharply and then moves right back up and then starts to trade higher. 
that's uh, usually indicative that the market makers have, have needed inventory and they whacked all the stops out and and then uh, take it back up and then start buying more stock for, uh, for the big orders that they have some probably some big institutional order so they don't necessarily see your stop your hard stop but they know that they're there and uh, that's some sometimes the way that they are able to uh, collect inventory um uh, let's see i think that's about it as far as the the questions that i had on market makers does anybody else have any further questions that they want to ask me about market makers?